Yo guys, Solo in here, and I am here with a new video. Um, this video is basically a Wizard 101 video. Sorry if you guys... Wow. Wow, Connor. Anyways, um... I wanted to say... Ah, yeah, oh crap, I forgot. Uh, short-term memory loss. Um, I wanted to say welcome to my Wizard 101, uh, level 100, or exalted, whatever you want to call it, PvP, uh, guide, um, slash deck setup, slash armor setup, slash whatever. So as you can see, I changed my look. This is my PvP look. Uh, my other set, um, which is my questing gear. I'm gonna show you my questing gear really quick. Actually, yeah, that's my questing gear. You, you can kind of get the outlook of it. That's the questing gear. Uh, let me just put those on real quick. Yeah, you, you, you pretty much get the point, but whatever. It's my PvP gear. I'm basically looking, making myself look like a balance. But anyways, um, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm going off subject right here. Anyways, um, basically, first of all, I'm gonna show you my stats. Uh, so basically, when you're level 100, there are a lot of people using Shadow Strike and a lot of people going for damage and critical rating, and it's like really crazy. So, oh yeah, and by the way, I want to tell you, like, my friend, um, Gubby Senpai is in the call, so if he just bursts out anything random, it doesn't really matter, so yeah. So, say something, man. Hello? Don! <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Wow. Okay, so, yeah, basically what I wanted to say, I just get punishment from playing. Wow. Okay, um, anyways, um, as I was saying, uh, basically... Nowadays, nowadays in PvP, people are being more aggressive towards PvP. Like nowadays, um, it's like all the classes, even life, and even, even. Uh, oh my God, so many people teleporting to me right now. No, last even, time I PvP, there was a whole bunch of life people doing a whole bunch of damage. I was kind of surprised. It was yeah, like no, two kids. Anyways, but as I was saying, I like a lot of people, people like going aggressive in the game. So basically, yeah. this is my setup. So. Um, basically what you really need, um, this is basically my stats right now, uh, my critical rating, my healing in and out, my power pips, my health, my mana, so basically, what you're really gonna need is the Frost Shrine Slippers. I say the Frost Shrine Slippers because, I, I picked the Frost Shrine Slippers over the Thaumaturges, um, Chill Waiters because, first of all, the Frost Shrine Slippers, I, I really can't talk anymore, so, the Frost Shrine sl sli Slippers give you more critical block, even though it gives you less resist, it's still, I mean, it's pretty good, plus it gives you that boost accuracy so you don't fizzle. Uh, I'm picking the Woodland Tribal Coat so you get that little, a little bit of storm and fire resist because most, mostly in PvP you see storm and fires trying to 1v1, like with the critical and shadow strike and stuff. So, I go with the Woodland Tribal Coat. And for my helmet, uh, basically, sorry if I'm going too fast, you can just pause the video if you want to. And basically for my helmet, I use the Frostbit Hood because it gives critical, it gives resist, and it gives, um, accuracy to all schools and plus 12 damage and it gives pretty much a good income so yeah um i'm using the hades frost the hades staff of frostbite because nowadays when as i was saying earlier like people go more aggressive towards pvp and basically they don't really have as much critical blocks so if you are a type of person that would like go for critical and i mean if I were, I mean, if I wanted to go, if I wanted to be safe, I'd get the Mandolin of Evermore. You can get it from the Horde of Hydra Pack. That gives plus 90, I think, critical block, and your critical block would go probably up to 300. And that basically means you can block anybody's block that's 500 and up. Actually, 500 and below, I think. So, yeah, if you want to go for the Mandolin of, Ever Mandolin of Evermore, pretty much go with that. Actually, no. I don't think the man. I think it's the Misty Mountain Mandolin. That's 130. Yeah, you might get up to 300. So, but your critical would decrease. But I'm just saying, go with the staff of hate staff of frostbite because nowadays people crank critical block. Uh, so yeah. Um, for uh for the Athem, I go with the Blade of Fell Titan. It's pretty much the best Athem in the game. You get it from uh I think, Chris no not Chrysalis. Uh, <clears throat> you get it from farming <clears throat> the Gladiator from Zeus. And I use the Life Mastery Amulet for healing, of course. Sometimes I would use the Amulet. Oh my god, no, chill. You know what? I'm just gonna turn off everything right now. Yeah, true. Uh, no. Uh, okay. uh, I got a, a new wand recently. The Viridian Charged Wand. And I, I, I traded in my Lunarium Revelation thing. So I don't really want that. Yeah, that's what he's talking about. Anyways, um, sometimes I would use my Armor Riggers Amulet of Aiming if I'm like not if i don't want to like pretty much heal because sometimes 
like when you're ice you have like a lot of health and it's kind of hard to uh like bring your health up bring, so yeah i use the armor Rigger's amulet of aiming sometimes and then yeah i just recommend going with the life mastery though next one i say for the ring i say using the alpha and omega ring because mm -hmm. it's pretty much the best ring in the game for level 90 and up. Okay. For pet, I pretty much say... Okay, so basically what I'm working on is an ice damage pet. And hold on, it's a Lord of Winter pet. So basically, it's right here. Um, So far, I'm really happy because I'm working on an ice damage pet. Hopefully, it gets fairy and then resist because that's pretty much all I needed for PvP. But all I just say is that um, for PvP, at least have Pain Giver resist and fairy that's all i just gotta say and uh if you want to go above and beyond go for ice damage and uh pain giver and maybe two resist like um spell defy and spell proof and uh fairy but if you want to go over over beyond like you don't even care about resist i'd say ice damage ice critical pain giver and infallible or like pierce or something like that so Right now, I hatch with my friend. I got an adult Lord of Winter. I'm so far still working on it. So far, it's giving me this, that, these, that. So hopefully, it doesn't screw up on me because this is what I got so far. This is what it got. Uh, you really don't need to pay attention to the derby rating. So yeah, I just recommend a damage pet. I mean, if you have a damage pet, you're pretty much good. Sure. And then next of all is the Bumbler Sleep Fall Pack. The reason why I say that because it gives that extra healing boost. Not extra healing boost. What am I talking about? That extra health plus 40 max uh it gives plus one ice damage and the reason why i just use that because i don't feel right with odd numbers so yeah next for our deck setup um so basically i'm gonna start with the normal deck uh you're gonna need three bale frost because some like some people like you just wanna you just wanna get your bubble out there like oh, i'm sorry burp that was a burp i'm sorry but you wanna get your bubble out there so uh yeah because some people can put up their bubble and that can put an advantage to them. But if you put up your bubble, that's an advantage to them. So I got Catabatic Wind. I'm not sure if I should use Bale Frost or Catabatic Wind. It's your choice. So I would use Bale Frost because Catabatic Wind is four pips. And sometimes you can't really wait as long unless the person you're fighting really sucks. So yeah, um, use Catabatic Wind if you want to. Next, I would use Freeze because you know... Those people nowadays with Shadow Strike, like once they use Shadow Strike, you just wanna, you just wanna like, like I know, I know when somebody uses Shadow Strike in one v one, I know it's like you're, you're just like, oh my god, um, PVP is ruined, or like, uh, you're like spam all day. Cause yesterday I was PVPing this one person, he was a death, he used a pixie on me, a pixie, and it did 900 damage, and I had a tower shield, and he critical, and I blocked 900 damage. That is just over the top crazy, man. And so yeah, um, you might need freezes to freeze the person, so that if like if you like you just need a stall. So for freeze, you can just stall until like their backlash, until like they can't really attack. And then once it's their backlash, they're gonna lose like a hell a lot of damage if they don't attack. So what I'm trying to do is stick to the whole concept of using low pip spells. I'm putting like one of each high pip spell in case you need it for emergencies. But I use low pip spells because um, really nowadays if you critical people can't really block it and then uh low pip spells is really easy to get and especially balance with their mana burns it's so annoying like if you stack up pips and if somebody mana burns you instant 2k health out like instant if you have like pretty good resist or decent so yeah that's why i would stick to snow serpents winter moons and ice waverns you're gonna need four ice blades obviously i mean you're gonna need ice blades in the first place you're gonna need two ice spears one lord of winter one snow angel Four snow serpents, two stun blocks in case for those Medusa spammers, those myth guys. Cause two, like if you get hit with a Medusa without a stun block, those last, those two rounds could be your last. And <clears throat> never forget these um, tower shields, five of them, uh, two volcanic shields, um, three, lo I mean winter moons, uh, one woolly mammoth, a bunch of colossals, one gargantuan. I mean, two gargantuans, like full colossal, two gargantuans, four sharpened blades, uh, four ether shields. Reason why I say that, because there are like a lot of myths and deaths, PV. Trust me, a lot of deaths, because nowadays you just see death spamming pixie, va like, no, usually vampire, because if you don't block that, that's like, that's just a lot of health they take out of you, and then like, it comes back to them, so. 
Yeah, I take two pixies in case somebody puts an infection or your life or a life dispel on you, so you can just break that. And then a satyr in case you want to like, like kill yourself up. And I take four convictions. Um, you can get it from Diego out here. Diego's out here somewhere. Like you just go out. So I take four convictions because nowadays it's really hard to block people. So you will really need the conviction. And you're gonna need two thermic shields because sometimes you're gonna run a you're gonna run into some ices. And you're gonna need three elemental blades. Reason why I only pick three is because elemental blade takes one pip. And sometimes. I know one pip doesn't really seem much, but sometimes when you're like really in a desperate position and you can't really do much, you're gonna have to put like you're really not gonna have time for an elemental blade. So, yeah, I put one dark nova in case because some nowadays people don't really resist. Actually, I mean it's just a new update. People don't resist to shadow spells unless like you have a global resist. But yeah, dark nova can really come in handy just watch your your shadow pips and yeah i'm gonna take two shadow strikes in case and you're gonna need two shadow strikes actually because sometimes you want to fight strike with strike if somebody tries going against you so yeah um you're gonna need two shadow strikes and for my sideboard i'd say two blizzards in case a person puts a minion i take two freezes in case in case you can't find any freezes in your deck and you really need to pull some out quickly one lord of winter in case you don't have uh if you have a lot of pips and that person isn't balanced and he doesn't mana burn you. Uh, you can just use the Lord of Winter to lose. Like, that's good because you can just take out three of their pips and a bunch of damage goes out to them. Uh, you can use a Polar Swarm. The reason why I use Polar Swarm instead of Frostbite is because, first of all, it's two pips less. It does pretty much the same amount of damage. Not really the same, but let me show you a comparison. This is Frostbite. This is Polar Storm. You can see that yourself. It gives you five more accuracy, two less pips. It's pretty much as strong as Frostbite. So, yeah. Um, I use three Polar Storms. You can actually get them at the Bazaar. When I went to the Bazaar last night, I bought like a bunch of Polar Storms. There were like actually 50 something left. And I bought like, I think about, yeah, 39, 40. And you're going to need one Snow Angel in case you want to do like one sick, like steroid overtime attack. Uh, you're going to need three Ice Birds. Actually, you know what? Um, let me just, I mean, let me sacrifice one Ice Bird for a tri because there could be that one person that Blade stacks up and then uses, like, an overtime, because I saw this one life guy that used, like, an OP Spiny Sword on me, it did about 900 damage per round, and that tri actually saved me, I took off that overtime, and they need a Woolly Mammoth in case you can't find your Lord of Winter since it's one pip less, um, I took the one with the Pierce, uh, you're gonna need Unstoppable, in case enchantments really because sometimes enchantments don't really do anything when you enchant something it's just, like people can have resist so you're gonna need unstoppable to pierce through that sprite in case somebody puts a dispel on you or if you want to break a uh like a infection tri age obviously i already explained that to take an overtime off infallible if you want to pierce through their um armor and for that 20 accuracy because since ice has the base of 80 accuracy that plus 20 will just pretty much make you unstoppable fizzle unless somebody puts a black mantle so you're gonna need two doom and glooms in case you want to just finish the match over with if you don't want anybody to heal especially with those life people so annoying with like nowadays those life people they critical one fairy that does like instant 2000 damage i mean instant 2000 heal so you got to be careful and empower in case like a fire or like a death puts like a like in case a death like puts a bad juju on you or a fire casting a free on you so you're gonna need to take that off and you're gonna use empower i know it's like kind of it's like self-sacrifice like self-harming being emo but still worth it worth the pips and you're gonna need black mantles to stall um um, reason why I say black mantles because if somebody goes in strike form and then like they're really ready to attack you're gonna really need to stall like you're gonna stall like you need to stall hella hard man like it's just crazy so you're gonna need one reshuffle um, it's your choice uh, sometimes I bring two but matches aren't really that long unless the person is just like crazy and then you're gonna need a bunch of weaknesses I'd say one two three four five five weaknesses because sometimes shields can't really help you so you're gonna need that weakness so in case somebody puts like a damage over time or something especially good on fires so yeah um as i said before you're gonna probably what i'd say is pretty what i'd say pretty good 
is actually a damage pet. Like just pain givers, okay. Resist, spell, I mean spell proof, and fairy. That's pretty much good. If you want to go above and beyond, just go ahead for an ice damage pet like this one right here. It's still a work in progress, but so far I got ice damage, uh, pain giver. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it for my review. For um, for it's pretty much it for my exalted PVP guide. Good luck in PVP, my fellow ice people, and have fun with that. Just remember. It's just a game. You don't have to get mad over people. Oh my god. Don't chill. I don't want to get copyrighted. Stop. 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 <laughs> I did. I did. Okay. But yeah, um, good luck in PvP. And I hope this guide really helped you. Um, feel free to drop a like, a comment. And of course, I'll reply. reply. I always reply to my comments. And yeah. Um, and I'm just going to say a disclaimer again. I recommend. Actually, kind of recommend a Lord of Winter, though. Because it gives. Three cards. I think it gives an extra card at Ancient or Epic. I don't know, but it gives a Ice Blade, Bale Frost, and something else I forgot. So yeah, um, just want to say thank you guys for watching. Um, and peace, guys. So now, hope this guy helped you. Chill! I'm not playing, Don. Stop! I don't want to get copyrighted. God, God. Okay. Um. So yeah, peace, guys. So now, have a nice day and have fun in PvP gonna say one more time remember it's just a game you don't have to really get mad over it if you lose a match just so it's one match loss you could be a warlord in no time all right so see you guys yeah guys um don's being stupid right now <laughs> so right. peace guys so now have a nice day peace. oh oh and i want to do a demonstration of the pvp thing but maybe in the future i'm gonna show you uh uh, -huh. uh uh, I'm gonna show you a PvP with this guy. I don't really have time right now because I gotta do my homework and some stuffs. Alright. So yeah, guys, just wanna quickly make a video for you guys. So yeah, guys, have a nice day and yeah. can't really attack and then once it's their backlash they're gonna lose like a hell a lot of damage if they don't attack so what I'm trying to do is stick to the whole concept of using low pip spells I'm putting like one of each high pip spell in case you need it for emergencies but I use low pip spells because um, really nowadays if you critical people can't really block it and then uh, low pip spells is really easy to get especially balance with their mana burns it's so annoying like if you stack up pips and if somebody mana burns you instant 2k health out like instant if you have like pretty good resist or decent so yeah that's why i would stick to snow serpents winter moons and ice waverns you're gonna need four ice blades obviously i mean you're gonna need ice blades in the first place you're gonna need two ice spears one lord of winter one snow angel four snow serpents Two stun blocks in case for those Medusa spammers, those myth guys. Cause two, like if you get hit with a Medusa without a stun block, those last, those two rounds could be your last. And <clears throat> never forget these um, tower shields, five of them. Uh, two volcanic shields, um, three. Lo I mean winter moons. Uh, one woolly mammoth, a bunch of colossals, one gargantuan. I mean two gargantuans, like full colossal, two gargantuans, four sharpened blades. Uh, four other shields. Reason why I say that, cause there are like a lot of myths and deaths. PV, trust me, a lot of deaths. Cause nowadays you just see death spamming pixie, va like no, usually vampire. Cause if you don't block that, that's like that's just a lot of health they take out of you, and then like it comes back to them. So yeah, I take two pixies in case somebody puts an infection or your life or a life dispel on you, so you can just break that, and then a satyr in case you want to like like kill yourself up. And I take four convictions. Um, you can get it from Diego out here. Diego's out here somewhere. Like, you just go out. So, I take four convictions because nowadays it's really hard to block people. So, you will really need the conviction. And you're going to need two thermic shields because sometimes you're going to run a, you're gonna run into some ices. And you're going to need three elemental blades. The reason why I only pick three is because elemental blade takes one pip. And sometimes... I know one pip doesn't really seem much, but sometimes when you're like really in a desperate position and you can't really do much, 
you're gonna have to put like you're really not gonna have time for an elemental blade so yeah i put one dark nova in case because some nowadays people don't really resist actually i mean it's just a new update people don't resist to shadow spells unless like you have a global resist but yeah dark nova can really come in handy just watch your your shadow pips and yeah i'm gonna take two shadow strikes in case and you're gonna need two shadow strikes Yo guys, Solo in here, and I am here with a new video. Um, this video is basically a Wizard 101 video. Sorry if you guys... Wow. Wow, Connor. Anyways, um... I wanted to say... Ah, uh, oh crap, I forgot. Uh, short-term memory loss. Um, I wanted to say welcome to my Wizard 101, uh, level 100, or exalted, whatever you want to call it, PvP, uh, guide, um, slash deck setup, slash armor setup slash whatever so as you can see i changed my look this is my pvp look uh my other set um which is my questing gear i'm gonna show you my questing gear really quick actually yeah that's my questing gear you, you can kind of get the outlook of it that's the questing gear uh let me just put those on real quick yeah you 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 pretty much get the point but whatever it's my pvp gear i'm basically looking making myself look like balance but anyways um i'm gonna I'm, I'm going off the subject right here anyways um Basically, first of all, I'm going to show you my stats. Uh, so basically, when you're level 100, there are a lot of people using Shadow Strike and a lot of people going for damage and critical rating, and it's like really crazy. So, oh yeah, and by the way, I want to tell you, like, my friend um, Gubby Senpai is in the call, so if you just burst out anything random, it doesn't really matter. So yeah, so say something, man. Hello? Don! <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Wow. Okay, so... Yeah, basically what I wanted to say, I just get punishment from playing. Wow. Okay. Um. Anyways. Um. As I was saying, uh, basically, nowadays, nowadays in PvP, people are being more aggressive towards PvP. Like nowadays, um, it's like all the classes, even life, and even, even. Uh, oh my God! So many people teleporting to me right now. No. Last even, time I PvP, there was a whole bunch of life people doing a whole bunch of damage. I was kind of surprised. It was yeah, like two kids. Anyways, but as I was saying, I like a lot of people, people like going aggressive in the game. So basically, yeah. this is my setup. So, um, basically, what you really need, um, this is basically my stats right now. Uh, my critical rating, my healing in and out, my power pips, my health, my mana. So basically, what you're really gonna need is the frost shrine slippers. I say the frost shrine slippers because I I picked the frost shrine slippers over the thaumaturges um chill waiters because. First of all, the Frost Shrine Shippers, I, I really can't talk anymore. So, the Frost Shrine sh sli Slippers give you more critical block. Even though it gives you less resist, it's still, I mean, it's pretty good. Plus, it gives you that boost accuracy so you don't fizzle. Uh, I'm picking the Woodland Tribal Coats. Yeah, happy because I'm working on an Ice Damage Pet. Hopefully, it gets Fairy and then Resist because that's pretty much all I needed for PvP. But all I just say is that, um... For PvP, at least have Pain Giver, Resist, and Fairy. That's all I just gotta say. And uh, if you wanna go above and beyond, go for Ice Damage and uh, Pain Giver, and maybe two Resist, like um, Spell Defy and Spell Proof and uh, Fairy. But if you wanna go over, over beyond, like you don't even care about Resist, I'd say Ice Damage, Ice Critical, Pain Giver. And yeah, infallible yeah. or like pierce or something like that. Yeah, so yeah. right now I hatch with my friend. I got an adult Lord of Winter. I'm so far still working on it. So far, it's giving me this stats, these stats. So hopefully it doesn't screw up on me because this is what I got so far. This is what it got. Uh, you really don't need to pay attention to the derby rating. So yeah, I just recommend a damage pet. I mean, if you have a damage pet, you're pretty much good. And then, next of all, is the Bumbler Sleep Fall Pack. The reason why I say that, because it gives that extra healing boost. Not extra healing boost, what am I talking about? That extra health, plus 40 max. Uh, it gives plus one ice damage, and the reason why I just use that, because I don't feel right with odd numbers. So, yeah. Next for our deck setup. Um, so, basically, I'm going to start with the normal deck. Uh, you're going to need three Bale Frosts, because some, like, some people... Like you just wanna, you just wanna get your bubble out there. Like, I'm um, sorry, burp. That was a burp. I'm sorry. But you wanna get your bubble out there. So, uh, yeah. 
because some people can put up their bubble and that can put an advantage to them. But if you put up your bubble, that's an advantage to them. So I got Catabatic Wind. I'm not sure if I should use Bale Frost or Catabatic Wind. It's your choice. So I would use Bale Frost because Catabatic Wind is four pips. And sometimes you can't really wait as long unless the person you're fighting really sucks. So yeah, um, use Catabatic Wind if you want to. Next, I would use Freeze because you know... Those people nowadays with Shadow Strike, like once they use Shadow Strike, you just wanna, you just wanna like, like I know, I know when somebody uses Shadow Strike in one v one, I know it's like you're, you're just like, oh my god, um, PVP is ruined, or like, uh, you're like spam all day. Cause yesterday I was PVPing this one person, he was a death, he used a pixie on me, a pixie, and it did 900 damage, and I had a tower shield, and he critical, and I blocked 900 damage. That is just over the top crazy, man. And so yeah, um, you might need freezes to freeze the person, so that if like if you like you just need a stall. So for freeze, you could just stall until like their backlash, until like they can you get that little a little bit of storm and fire resist. Cause most mostly in PvP you see storm and fires trying to one v one, like with the critical and shadow strike and stuff. So I go with the woodland tribal coat, and for my helmet. Uh, basic. Sorry if I'm going too fast. You can just pause the video if you want to. And basically, for my helmet, I use the Frostbit Hood because it gives critical, it gives resist, and it gives um, accuracy to all schools and plus 12 damage, and it gives pretty much a good income. So, yeah. Um, I'm using the Hades Frost, the Hades Staff of Frostbite because nowadays, when as I was saying earlier, like people go more aggressive towards PvP, and basically they don't really have as much critical blocks. So. If you are a type of person that would like go for critical and I mean if I were I mean if I wanted to go if I wanted to be safe I'd get the mandolin of evermore you can get it from the horde of hydro pack that gives plus 90 I think critical block and your critical block would go probably up to 300 and that basically means you can block anybody's block that's 500 and up actually 500 and below I think so yeah if you want to go for the Mandolin, Ever uh, Mandolin of Evermore, pretty much go with that. Actually, no, I don't think the man. I think it's the Misty Mountain Mandolin. That's 130. Yeah, you might get up to 300. So, but your critical would decrease. But I'm just saying, go with the Staff of Hate Staff of Frostbite, because nowadays people crank critical block. Uh, so yeah, um, for uh for the Athem, I go with the Blade of Fell Titan. It's pretty much the best Athem in the game. You get it from uh I think, Chris no not Chrysalis uh. <clears throat> you get it from farming <clears throat> the gladiator from Zeus and I use the life mastery amulet for healing of course sometimes I would use the amulet oh my god no chill you know what I'm just gonna turn off everything right now yeah true uh, no uh, okay. uh, I got a, a new wand recently the viridian charged wand and I, I, I traded in my lunarium revelation thing so I don't really want that <laughs> Anyways, um, sometimes I would use my armor riggers amulet of aiming if I'm like not if I don't want to like pretty much heal because sometimes like when you're ice you have like a lot of health and it's kind of hard to uh, like bring your health up. Bring, so yeah. I use the armor riggers amulet of aiming sometimes and then yeah I just recommend going with the life mastery though. Next one I say for the ring I say using the alpha and omega ring. Mm -hmm. That is pretty much the best ring in the game for level 90 and up. Okay. For pet, I pretty much say... Okay, so basically what I'm working on is an ice damage pet. And hold on, it's a Lord of Winter pet. So basically, it's right here. Um, So far, I'm really... Actually, because sometimes you want to fight Shrike with Shrike if somebody tries going against you. So yeah, um, you're going to need two Shadow Shrikes. And for my sideboard, I'd say two Blizzards in case a person... Puts a minion, I take two freezes in case in case you can't find any freezes in your deck and you really need to pull some out quickly. One Lord of Winter in case you don't have uh if you have a lot of pips and that person isn't balanced and he doesn't mana burn you, uh you can just use the Lord of Winter to lose like that's good because you can just take out three of their pips and a bunch of damage goes out to them. Uh you can use a polar swarm. The reason why I use polar swarm instead of frostbite is because first of all it's two pips less. It does pretty much the same amount of damage. Not really the same, but let me show you a comparison. This is Frostbite. This is Polar Storm. You can see that yourself. It gives you five more accuracy, two less pips. It's pretty much as strong as Frostbite. So, yeah. 
Um, I used three polar storms. You can actually get them at the bazaar. When I went to the bazaar last night, I bought like a bunch of polar storms. There were like actually 50 something left, and I bought like I think about yeah 39, 40. And you're gonna need one snow angel in case you want to do like one sick like steroid overtime attack. Uh, you're gonna need three ice birds. Actually, you know what? Um, let me just. I mean, let me sacrifice one Ice Bird for a tri -age, Because there could be that one person that Blade stacks up and then uses like an overtime. Because I saw this one life guy that used like an OP Spiny Soar on me. It did about 900 damage per round. And that tri -age actually saved me. I took off that overtime. And they need a Woolly Mammoth in case you can't find your Lord of Winter since it's one pip less. Um, I took the one with the Pierce. Uh, you're going to need Unstoppable in case enchantments really because sometimes enchantments don't really do anything when you enchant something it's just like people can have resist so you're gonna need unstoppable to pierce through that sprite in case somebody puts a dispel on you or if you want to break a uh like a infection tri age obviously i already explained that to take an overtime off infallible if you want to pierce through their um armor and for that 20 accuracy because since ice has the base of 80 accuracy that plus 20 will just pretty much make you unstoppable fizzle unless somebody puts a black mantle so you're gonna need two doom and glooms in case you want to just finish the match over with if you don't want anybody to heal especially with those life people so annoying with like nowadays those life people they critical one fairy that does like instant 2000 damage i mean instant 2000 heal so you got to be careful and empower in case like a fire or like a death puts like a like in case a death like puts a bad juju on you or a fire casting a freak on you so you're gonna need to take that off and you're gonna use empower i know it's